Okay, this will be a very quick one. We need to distinguish pressure from force. Okay, they're obviously related. Force causes the pressure. But, to one, the first important thing, first important thing, is concerning vector or scalar. A force is a vector, but pressure is a scalar. Okay? This is important. That is the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that um, the same force can cause different pressures. Why? Because pressure is force over area. So if, you, if the area changes, then the exact same force will result in a different pressure. Okay? So the example they give is if you take a pin, uh, or say say now you've, there's a force equal to 10 Newton, okay? Uh, but that force of 10 Newton is either exerted by a pin, imagine putting a pin on your arm, the skin of your arm, right? That That's 10 Newton being applied down right in that, that little area. Can you imagine the, the pain that you'll experience? Versus... If you take, there's your, um, there's your arm again, and you take a book, say a book, like your, uh, your, your physics textbook, and again, there's 10 newtons being applied down there, but it's divided by a much larger surface area. So what happens is, because the surf, even though the force is the same, if the surface area increases, then your pressure will decrease, Okay. So just think about it. Would you rather have a pin uh, be applying a 10 Newton force to your skin or a hand or a, uh, a book, right? Where the, the, that same force is distributed over a larger surface area. Well, clearly this one because the pressure then would be lower. Okay? Okay, see you in the next one.